time off rest of the year. Coach Mo? How we doing? Hey, Coach. How'd it go out there today? Good day. You know, we uh, uh, today was a day about you know, trying to make sure that we, we dot some I's and cross some T's. A lot of situational work, end of the game work, two-point plays, uh, all those things that you have to be good at, you know, and get a couple of weeks of practice in before you actually get to that first game. So we're right on schedule with that, uh, and it, it was a good day. Hard to believe it's, uh, it's about two weeks away from kickoff. How much of your system percentage-wise would you say is implemented already? About 100%. Yeah, we, we're pretty much installed. Everything that we have from a base standpoint, we'll have some stuff in the game plan week that we have maybe one or two things that go in. But our guys have been, you know, they've been swamped with work from a football standpoint. We got a lot of it in. So from a timeline standpoint, what's the next two weeks like for what you want to get accomplished? Polishing. A lot of polishing. We'll have a couple of physical days in there somewhere. Uh, but we'll, we'll lean on the team to find out exactly where they are. Uh, it'll be a lot, a lot like today. And then, you know, we'll, that polishing will happen for Western Carolina. But we'll, we'll, we'll be... Uh, a lot of next week will be on them. And the following week, of course, will definitely be on them. But we'll we'll get to a polishing mode and making sure that you know we're sharp. We have sharp edges. I mean, we've had a lot of bonding time. You know, since I got here in January, we've never been able to be locked up in a, in a bus or in a room three or four hours together. I think that's very very important. Uh, it's also important that we we lock in and, and get rid of all the distractions and just go play, you know, a football. But it's going to be a great time to be able to get down there with those guys. We won't have we won't show very much. You know, it'll be as base. Uh, as, as we possibly can be because, you know, we're in hostile territory all the time, right? And uh, we'll, we'll try to make sure that we, we take care of our players but also give them a chance to go have fun. You outlined it a little bit a couple weeks ago for what it meant and what was the thinking on going to Charlotte, mm -hmm. but now now that we're a day away, could you go into a little bit more what you were thinking and wanting to go to Charlotte? Uh, yeah, you know, we always want to spread, uh, you know, love to our Pirate Nation, whether they uh, be east of uh, I-95. we got a lot of people uh, in the western part of the state. Uh, so we want to give them those people a chance that had, had drive out here every week, turn around and drive back at least one time where we can come to them and, and bring all of our kids with them. The next part of it is, is you know, that area is a, is a great, it's very fertile uh, from a recruiting standpoint. Uh, we want to get our uh, footprint, uh, you know, as, all the places that we can, we want to make sure we do a good job. It won't, it won't just stop there. You know, in the future we may, you know, go other places and do different things. And thought about that for a long time. This is something that we always wanted to do before, but we never – really started the process early enough. Uh, so because of some of those mistakes that we made earlier uh, at other places, uh, you know, we, we, we found out that we could you know, start it early in January. It takes a long time to get it all done. A lot of the approval that goes uh, away from Greenville. You know, approval from Greenville was pretty easy and quick, but <laughs> approval elsewhere can be a hard process. Um, going to away games is going to be very important. Uh, we want to be better on the road than we are here. And uh, that's, that's, that's a big task, but this is our chance to uh, practice that. How much does Coach Smith keep keeping the secondary accountable and the deep balls. He mentioned that earlier this week in talking to us. Every day. Uh, you can never be uh, satisfied as, as far as going to, uh, judging deep balls. So uh, we work every day on deep balls. It's, it's always some type of, type of technique in our individual drills uh, to practice on deep balls, and, and we just want to limit to zero every game. Sometimes players can be their biggest critic. How, how would you look at the, the, the secondary? How would you say you guys are – where would you say you guys are at with two weeks left to go? Um – like you said, uh, we're, we're our biggest critics, so uh, never satisfied. I'm not going to say that we're, we're bad, but uh, we definitely can. We always have room for improvement, and we can always improve. So um, just working to be our best each day and, and learn what we can do. So you're a Charlotte kid. That's right. What's tomorrow mean? Um, you know, it's a nice trip to go home, see some friends, have some friends come out, maybe some family come out too. It'll be a good time. Obviously, there's a big base of Pirate fans over in that area. Have you gotten a sense of that when you go home? Yeah, a lot of the guys I, uh, I'm buddies with back home, I see them in Pirate gear nowadays. So I guess it's spreading to Charlotte, too. For you, you're going, you're coming back as a returning starter. Well, what's, how do things change when you when you switch special teams coordinators? I mean, is, how much of it is the same and how much of it is different with the coaching change? You know, same team. Coach Moore, he's a great fit. Um, it's been an easy transition. He's a great guy, great coach. Mm -hmm. And for you, you, you held – are you going to be doing long snapping again this year or are you just going to be doing the short snap? Um, short snapping, yes. Uh, long snap, we got a good freshman, you know, still up in the air. No starter's been named. How much is it going to – how much easier does it make it when you have a little bit of continuity? Because it's a three-part snap. You snap the hold and the kick for, for kicking the ball and punting, I imagine, it's the same way. How, how easier does it make it when you have similar characters back? Um, you know, me and Worth, we click, you know, it's it's easier. Um, it's definitely a lot nicer having the same guys back. How have things progressed under a new coach? 
it's progressed pretty well. I mean, we got mostly the same guys. We got a new freshman long snap for that. Uh, as you heard, it's called competing pretty well with Colton. So I think it's kind of pushing everyone. Same with we brought in a, a scholarship kid that can do everything, kick, punt, and uh, kick off. So he's kind of pushing all the guys in ways we haven't pushed before. Are you a country music fan? Yes, I like country music a lot. So when you learned that you were going to be going to Charlotte instead of being able to go to the Eric Church con uh, concert, what was your reaction? Um, I was I wasn't that angry until like yesterday, and I looked at the stadium and like the setup they have. I wasn't expecting it to be this big, and, and now and now I'm kind of mad about it because I know my friends are going to be FaceTiming me while they're at it. But uh, I'm excited to go home and see my family and uh, have them come out and watch us practice.